Yo, what's up? So, um, it's gonna be my first fragrance video that I've recorded, but, uh, these are my collection. I'm basically still new to collecting fragrances and everything, so my collection isn't that big so far. Like, as you can tell, it's like barely anything right here. Um, but I will rank the ones that I got now and I'll let you know which ones I like the most out of these. So, uh, the first I'll start with is... I don't know if you can see by the can. It comes in the can. It's uh, it's called Ultra Male. Um, I'll I'll post a little picture up on the screen so you can see Ultra Male. And I keep all the plastic on the on the containers. I don't know why, but as you can see, this opens up from the bottom which is really confusing because um, I was trying to figure out how to actually open the can and I was going to get a can opener what I had to do was uh, look up a YouTube video how to actually open it and then I realized it opens from the bottom and I noticed other people had the same issue too they didn't know how to open the can so um, that would be something they can fix in the future is actually making something that's a little bit more um, easier to to open well it's not hard to open it's just no one knows how to open it so basically they could put a little um something on the can that tells you how to open it you know but basically it comes in like a little obviously you know this kind of bottle it's iconic um from the la Mail. but this is the blue bottle and um it just comes out of here like that so, what does it actually smell like? Um, I'll give it a spray. Oops, oh, it's just a little lock on there still. It's got this thing that you pull off. So you give it a spray inside. Okay. So it smells very sweet. Um, obviously, you would know it's sweet because um, if you've read the notes on the on Frey Granica, it'll say what the notes are. But basically, it's a very sweet um, smelling fragrance. And I think I just I think I just broke that. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it, to me, it smells very synthetic from the start. Almost like bubble gum or cotton candy. It's like, it doesn't smell too fruity, but there is a sweetness in there, like some kind of spice or fruit or um, something that I'm smelling. So if I pull up the notes on my computer here, we'll have a look at what it says. Yeah, so it says it's fruity, on my computer, right? it says fruity, vanilla, sweet, cinnamon, uh, spicy, aromatic, and there's a little bit of aqua, which I'm not smelling all of that. It says there's lavender and mint in there, which you can't smell any lavender or mint at all. You can smell the pear, which is might be the fruitiness that I'm getting. I can't smell lemon or cinnamon, but you can smell the vanilla. So it's mainly, it's like a vanilla and a very synthetic pear smell. But to me, if I had to just blind smell that, I would say bubble gum or cotton candy. And it can be improved if you add a little bit more freshness to it. I think they've done that intentionally as a winter kind of fragrance, something sweet for winter. Yeah. So that's um, Ultra Male. So the dry down, the dry down is still very sweet when it dries down. Um, 
because I've smelt all of these before. They're already opened. I've already worn them a ton. So projection on this is good. It lasts maybe five to six hours or longer. Um, and people will smell it from a distance. If you're walking, they'll definitely smell it. It's definitely a compliment fragrance, so you will get compliments wearing that. But people may not like it because it's too sweet. And I don't find that to be overly masculine. Um, I think women can wear that um, just because it's very sweet and not very masculine. Um, but it's not feminine either. I think unisex. Uh, but overall, uh, this is one of my favorites in my collection that I have until I bought uh, Pure XS, which is these two smell the same Pure XS and Ultra Male. Basically, very similar, but um, this one's a little bit more synthetic and that one's a little bit more natural smelling. So, I would rate that definitely 9 out of 10 because I do, I like that. It's one of my favorites that I got. So, the next I think is. Dol Dolce and Gabbana. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce anything because I'm still new. And it's the one. So this is the the iconic, just the EDT version. It's just the old classic one. Comes in that kind of bottle. And I've got a spray it on a piece of paper here, so I already know what it smells like. And this is really sweet as well, but there is a, a fruitiness and freshness to it. Yeah, I really like this. So, I've actually read the notes and it says there's like basil and coriander and stuff in there, but... I'm not really uh, smelling any of the notes on the pyramid inside of this. So, it smells like vanilla, but... The notes don't say there's any vanilla in it. Um, I'll give it an extra spray. Yeah, and that's amazing. Straight from the top note to the base notes. It's really good. This is a compliment fragrance. Girls will love this. It's uh, something you'd wear in, uh, in the colder weather, obviously, because it's very sweet. It's not like a warm weather fragrance at all. But this is this is just amazing. This is like the second favorite one I have, and I could I would never get sick of this. Honestly, it's just that good. And it actually smells very different on paper as well. So when you spray it on paper, it smells completely different than uh, on skin. But this uh, apparently the performance isn't that good on this. Uh, but I didn't have too much of an issue. To me, I think it still lasts like a good amount of time on my clothes. But then again, I overspray it. Because it comes in a big bottle, you can overspray this um, just to make sure it lasts a long time. I think a projector is not weak. It doesn't smell watered down. It's a very um, strong scent. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't like, it's not like a beast mode kind of fragrance. But it is great. It's second favorite I own uh, and you can see I've got some pretty good fragrances here especially the classic uh, Aqua Di Gio Profondo and um, so we'll, we'll go with that one next because this is controversial for me is everyone loves this Aqua Di Gio uh, Armani I think it's Armani yeah, Profondo, comes in like the blue bottle. And to me, I find this to be, um, this is the strongest one I have. So this is definitely going to last the longest. It's definitely the strongest smelling one that I have. And I actually, I, I over sprayed this and I stunk out the whole shop. Everyone was walking away from me. They wouldn't go anywhere near me just because it stunk so much. It's too strong if you over spray this. But again, it does smell fresh and clean, but there's a spiciness to it. There's something spicy or musky in here that I don't like. It's... I think it smells synthetic, but 
from the top there is you can smell citrus. Yeah, you, you get a blast of citrus at the on the opening. But then there is something spicy in there that I just don't like. Um, I can't explain it. It's almost synthetic. It like stings your nose a little bit. It might even give you a headache if you wear too much of this. Um, but apparently girls like it. It's a compliment getter. It's very popular. It's a hot weather fragrance. It's something that's going to like smell very refreshing and cooling. Um, it's very expensive too for the price. I would say you could probably get better, but not in terms of performance because this is about as good as you can get when it comes to performing and lasting a long time. That is going to last all day, maybe even two, three days on your clothes. Uh, I'm not sure what the notes are. I could look it up, but to me, it does smell. There's a little bit of woodiness to it. There's a little bit of freshness, citrus, uh, something spicy or musky to it. Um, yeah, but that's kind of like what I get from that. And the next would be... Okay, this is Beckham Signature. This is one of the first that I got from my sister as a present. So Beckham Signature. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but this has the purple juice in it. So I think there's a few different ones of these. This is the EDT version. Yeah, EDT, I'm not sure what version it is, but it's purple. So if you want to get it, it's the purple juice in the bottle. And this is... Um, this doesn't perform a long time, but I know girls like it just because that's what my sister got for me. She really liked this. So this is a very um, fresh and clean smelling fragrance too. There's, um, it's not fresh in the sense that it's fruity or citrusy. But I would say there's definitely something maybe slightly floral or um, aquatic to it, like aqua or floral. There's a very nice smell, like it's just fresh and clean. Um, usually you can smell the notes in the fragrance, but this, I'm not, I'm not really sure what the, the notes are inside of it. So let me just look. So yeah, it says it's woody and citrus and aquatic, so I'm not sure if I can really smell the wood inside of there. Uh, maybe a very slight bit of wood in there, but barely noticeable, um, just mainly aquatic and... Well, it says it's citrus, but I'd only smell a tiny bit of citrus um, once you look at the notes. Then you can smell the citrus in there. But uh, basically, it says it's watermelon. Um, I'm not really getting too much melon, but it is. It's probably the weakest or the second weakest one I have. It's only going to last maybe one or two hours on your clothes, and then you won't smell it at all. It'll go straight to a skin scent. Um, Something you would wear once you get out of the shower. Um, but yeah, basically it's it's not super strong. It's very inoffensive. Like anyone will really like it that smells it. It will get your compliments. Um, and it's decent price as well. It's not expensive. It's affordable. Uh, if you want a cheap fragrance to get, that's definitely a good one. Um, but yeah, performance isn't great. Uh, really, it's it doesn't smell overly masculine. I think girls will also like that. They will wear that. Um, but yeah, I think overall, it's not the best one that I have. It's like probably about a 7 or 8 out of 10. Like, I do like the smell of it. It's not something I hate. 
and uh, I wouldn't say it's my it's even in the top five here. It's not even in the top five. I don't know where I put that, but I'll rank them all at the end. So maybe I'll put the best here for now. Um, yeah, we'll go in order. I'll put that. I'll put this at the bottom, and then I'll put these two like worst to best and then start ranking them like that. So the next is obviously you all know Invictus because it's like one of the most popular fragrances out. Invictus, just the original uh, Paco Rabanne EDT. Show you the bottle. So this comes in like a little nice silver bottle. And the juice is kind of like clear. Oop, I had it around the wrong way. I actually like the bottle of this. I think it's a nice bottle. But this is something I loved at first. I absolutely loved it. It was my favorite until I bought a bunch more. And this is one of the first I had. My mum gave this to me. So I know girls do like it because I was gifted it from my mum who loves this. And this is fruity. This is fresh, really fresh and fruity. Mm, like it's, it's amazing, but if you over spray this, it does smell synthetic and I can smell like melon or something in there. I'll check the notes out, but I can smell like melon or something inside of that. So it says there is apparently grapefruit in there. That might be what I'm smelling. I think it's grapefruit. Usually, yeah, it might be grapefruit or orange or something like that. But it's weird. It smells almost like melon. Let me just spray it. Uh... I'll spray it on myself. Okay, yeah, that's why. I need to spray it to actually smell it properly. Because I didn't spray it. Now you can smell it, yeah. It's definitely jasmine. Definitely smell the jasmine in there. Um, really nice jasmine they've done as well. It's really... It blends so well with the, the grapefruit and citrus. Um... Yeah, very fresh, clean, and the jasmine does actually stick out a lot. I think the jasmine is what really brings this fragrance to life, actually. But that's amazing. I, I really like this. Um, maybe not as much as some of the other ones. But for now, I, I do like that. And I know everyone's going to hate on me because... It's too popular, um, everyone wears it, it's probably overdone now, it's a little bit old, a little bit outdated, but I think it's, it's relatively inoffensive, um, but I still don't really like it more than the sweet fragrances, because I'm more of a sweet fragrance guy over fresh and clean. Most people will prefer fresh and clean, but I prefer sweet because I think it goes more with my personality and what the kind of clothes that I wear, which are very warm. Um, not like, I think fresh and clean suits uh, more of a business guy or like someone that does sports. Whereas I like to be like comforting and something sweet. I'm also a chef, if you didn't know, I cook a lot so maybe that's why I'm biased towards sweet fragrances but I know girls also like sweet even though that is sweet that's not just fresh and clean there's a sweetness to that it's really nice it's a day daytime fragrance hot weather fragrance um, you can wear it at the office it's basically 
versatile, very versatile. You can basically wear this more places than you can wear these two. So I'd say Invictus can be worn pretty much anywhere. And these are more occasional. But next I've got Eros, Versace Eros, which is another popular fragrance, but nobody that I know in my friend circle or anything wears this. So I've never smelt this on a person um, besides myself, but it's this is my number one fragrance out of them all. So the reason is because it's got the sweetness of the one, the sweetness of Ultra Male, but it's just more fresh. It's a little bit more fresh than both of these. And it's just really sweet. And I, I tend to favor vanilla fragrances a lot. And that, that is amazing. I can never get sick of that smell. Like I'll soak myself in this and then I'll just keep smelling my clothes the whole night. And it's just amazing. Uh, but if you want to know what it smells like, it smells slightly minty. Like a lot of people say it's minty, but I'm not really getting too much mint. I get more vanilla out of this. Vanilla with a little bit of fresh and cleaners. So let me just spray it. Um, I'll spray it in the cap. So yeah, the, the opening note is actually some citrus in there, some citrus fruit. Okay, yeah, you do get a little bit more mint when you first spray it, only in the opening note though. But then the dry down is mainly vanilla. Once it's dried down, you really do smell the vanilla and it's just amazing. It's This is a fragrance you can wear mainly in cold weather and the night time, but I think it's got a just enough frag uh, just enough freshness in there to wear it during the day as well. You can get away wearing this during the day or at the office. It's pretty versatile. A lot of people call it a clubbing a clubbing scent. I don't think it's more clubbing. I think it's more like date, like a date night fragrance. Something you can wear on dates. Kind of like um the one here is great for dates. So this is great for dates too. This is like anyone will love this. Like you can't hate Eros really. Even people that hate sweet fragrances, this is fresh enough to like it. So I think it's just amazing. Um, and I have to give that a 10 out of 10 because it is the best of smell in my whole collection. Okay, 10 out of 10. I'm not 100% sure what the notes are in it, but you can always look that up. Or I'll look it up for you. Um, yeah, it says mainly vanilla, green, citrus, woody. And surprisingly, it said apple. And I think the vanilla comes from the tonka and vanilla combination because there's tonka and vanilla in there. Um, and wood. It says there's wood, which I don't think I'm really smelling too much wood in this. Or the apple, to be honest. I don't smell apple in there. Mainly vanilla. Um, and it's just, just great fragrance overall. Um, and the next, I find it to be a little bit more controversial because... Everyone was talking about YSL or Yves Saint Laurent uh, Blue Electric. And this is something I love to hate. Because everyone says it smells like the original, but fresh. And Everyone's kind of like saying it's a very refreshing smelling fragrance, but this, this smells like baby powder to me. I only get, in the opening, yeah, the opening smells like cardamom, okay? I'll give it that. In the opening, it's cardamom bomb. And cardamom, it's okay, but it's in a lot of other fragrances too. 
But then there's just something that smells like baby powder in this. And I'm not joking, like literally like baby powder. That just puts me off. I can't put my hands on what it is. There might be some kind of flower, something floral in there. I think it is some kind of flower that makes it smell like baby powder. Um, I mean, I don't hate it, but I hate that it gets so much hype on the internet and everyone's making it sound way better than it is. And it's like, ba it just smells like baby powder, honestly. I sprayed this on my clothes and I've given it time to, to like it. I've tried to like let my nose adjust to it over time. And it just doesn't get any better or any different the more I smell it. It's still baby powder. Um, and it's kind of a shame because I wanted to like it. I spent money on it. I look forward to getting it. Um, but it's not really inoffensive. I mean, it's, you're not going to like smell it and be like... I hate this, but you're going to smell it and be like, very disappointed that it doesn't smell like what you think it smells like. Um, there was just so much hype around it, I was excited, got my hopes up for it. I would definitely not buy it again, because I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, and it's just the baby powder smell, I can't get over it. There's something feminine about it, there's something old it smells like old people or like a grandma something your mum or sister would wear and for that i put this at the bottom and this is going to be controversial so it's my opinion and if you like it that's cool just don't hype this up and make people buy it always um it was a blind buy for me i didn't test mainly any of these when i bought them some of them I was given as a present, and the rest I just blind buy them all online, based off reviews. The reviews make this sound really good, and it's not. Um, projection and longevity is maybe a few hours, but it's not going to last a very long time either. So, even if you want something that performs great, it doesn't perform that great, honestly. Uh, so, the next is a classic that my mum also bought, which is one of the first they got too. Another fragrance that's hard to hate, it's the original Boss Bottled. Um, yeah, Hugo Boss Bottled EDT, just a classic. So, kind of like the yellowish colour in the bottle. Um, it's got a pretty nice bottle. I like the bottle. It's simple. They haven't tried to do too much. It says the notes on the back of the box too. I really like how it says the notes on the box. Uh, apparently it's apple, cinnamon and wood. But I'll disagree with that, honestly. Yeah, so this is obviously a fresh, clean, versatile fragrance. Any, anyone will like this. It's not a hateable fragrance at all. It doesn't smell very unique. Okay, um, it's a fresh and clean wood. If I had to describe it, fresh, clean wood. There's no cinnamon in there that you can actually smell. Maybe something slightly floral, but it doesn't smell like flowers at all. So if you think of a floral fragrance, something that smells flowery, this doesn't smell like it. But yeah, like, it says apple. If I had to say what kind of apple, it would be a very fake apple, not real apple. But not apple candy either. It doesn't smell like apple candy. I, I like this. I wear this when I get out the shower a lot, hot weather, during the day, really nice fragrance, maybe a little bit popular and outdated now, it's not original, it's not going to stand out, but you can't go wrong with that, um, it's just an easy buy, but I think compared to Invictus, it smells a little bit similar to Invictus, without the jasmine and without the fruit. 
it's a little less fruity, which I don't know if I like that more or less. I think I would go with something a little bit more fruity, but I don't know. You could put this in either spot. You could say that it's less fruity, so you like it less. Or you might like it more than Invictus because it's less fruity. I'm going to put it under Invictus because I think I like Invictus more. I tend to wear Invictus a little bit more than that. Um, don't ask me why. I think they're pretty close in terms of likability. I think that I'd probably score them the exact same about like a 8.5 out of 10. Um, hard to hate. But you could obviously get way better fresh fragrances too. Like this. Ralph Lauren Polo Sport Fresh. So, I know there's a lot of Polo fragrances out there. They all kind of... It's a very big uh, lineup of flankers. But this, to me... This was a blind buy that I got at the chemist. I was just looking for something completely different. Couldn't find it. I asked them to pick me something off the shelf and let me test them. This was one of the first she picked off the shelf and tested. She sprayed it in the shop. I smelt it. And everyone loved this in the shop. Everyone was smelling it and they're like, wow, this is amazing. And no one knew what it was. Because um, there was a lady working behind a counter and she's like, oh, what's that smell? That smells so good. And then I smelt it, and I'm like, yeah, this smells fresh, clean, fruity. Oh, it's, it's literally fruity, like citrus, very citrusy, fruity, fresh and clean, but in all the right way. It's perfectly balanced. Um, it's a compliment getter. This will get you so many compliments if you wear it. It's got really great projection, really great longevity. I would give this a 9.5 out of 10 because it's in my top 5 favourite that I own. And I'll still wear this over Aqua de Joe all the time. Like, honestly. This is Polo Sport Fresh. I would recommend buying this. Super underrated, actually. No one's talking about this. No one's really wearing it. So I think it could be a good signature scent. Um... And yeah, I know everyone talks about Polo Red, but no one's talking about Support Fresh. So you buy this, wear this, and it's really amazing. Um, but I'd still only put this above maybe Invictus and Boss. I uh, don't like it more than the others, but this is very daytime fragrance, hot weather fragrance, versatile, wear it anywhere. Date nights, it'll get you lots of compliments. Um, but then, yeah, Aqua Di Joe. I think I'll put Aqua Di Gio. I'm going to put that actually under Boss. See, so this is controversial, but I like Boss more than Aqua Di Joe. Because this has something in it I don't like. Something spicy or musky or masculine. There's something in there I don't like it. Um, Boss and Invictus are pretty solid fragrances, honestly. I think they're better. Um, but uh, next is One Million. Everyone knows what One Million is like. I think there's probably not a person on the planet that hasn't smelt it. But I'm going to do this anyway. That, that is so good. No matter how many times you smell it, and how old it is, how overworn and how popular it is, how overhyped it is, you can't hate it. You just can't hate it. It's a very woody fragrance. All you get, wood, wood, wood. The opening fresh. Woody, yeah, that's, it performs great. Alright, sorry for
for that. Uh, my camera was full and I had to just clear up some space. But uh, we're up to 1 million. As I was saying, this is a classic, everyone knows it. It's a beast mode fragrance. Uh, it's a little bit outdated and overpopular now, but this will get you tons of compliments for a long time before it was like before everyone got sick of it and hated it, it was like the king of fragrances and I say that because it was the most popular one at the time easily, it's still to this day one of the most popular fragrances um, and I think it's actually aged really well now that less people wear it and you still smell this right now it's still a good fragrance, good solid fragrance that's going to last all day on your clothes um, and the notes on this are basically irrelevant. Like, you can just forget about all the notes you, you read. It smells like wood. Very woody, um, with a slightly clean uh, opening. Mainly woody though, you say if you want a woody fragrance, this smells masculine. It lasts a long time, and everyone's gonna love it. One million, but you can overspray this, so don't overspray it. But I'll give this a 9.5 out of 10, just because I still love this. I got sick of it for a while, because I was wearing it every day. But I still love it, and I've got to put this in, like, third spot. Because it's a little bit better than Ultra Male. Um, this is a little bit too sweet, the Ultra Male. Even though Dolce & Gabbana is sweet too, I think it's a little bit more, um, a, a different kind of sweet. It's a little bit more sexy. This is sexy, but this is too popular now. So, like, you don't want to smell like everyone's ex-boyfriend. Some people might actually hate the smell of this because they've smelt it too much and associate it with someone bad that they know. Um, but, as a fragrance, it's solid. It is really good, um, undeniable that it's a great fragrance. But you can hate it if you want because I understand why you would hate it. I hated it at one point too because I was wearing it so much. And the next is um, my the newest one that I bought. I uh, got it for Christmas. It's Pure XS Night by Paco Rabanne, same guy that makes one million. And this. This smells like ultra male. Um, okay, uh, I have it on a piece of paper somewhere here. That is good, okay. So there's virtually not much any difference between pure excess night and ultra male. Uh, they smell almost identical, except this is gonna maybe be a little bit more balanced with vanilla. This smells a little bit more synthetic. This is a little bit more natural. This has slight notes of chocolate and vanilla. There's no chocolate in Ultra Male, so this might be the, the better one to get. Honestly, if you want a sweet fragrance, perfect for date night, cold weather, night time, it's in the name, Pure Excess Night. Great fragrance. 9.5 out of 10, um, one of my favorites. It just smells like vanilla. Um, except the opening of this, you do get cinnamon in the opening, which a little bit of spice is good to break down that sweetness. Um, which this doesn't have, the Ultra Male doesn't have that. Right off the bat, it's too sweet. This, the opening of this is not too sweet actually. It's actually nice, a really nice opening with uh, cinnamon in it. And the dry down, the dry down is really good. Um, and the performance is actually, it's okay. It's not the greatest performing one. I'd say, I would actually say Ultra Male performs a little better, but this smells better. This is more balanced, more natural. Ooh, I'd say less sweet, even though there's chocolate in there, it's not like a sicking, sickeningly sweet. It doesn't smell too sweet. It's like, It's hard to explain, but I do like this. Um, obviously, nighttime fragrance, cold weather fragrance, like winter. 
full, but it needs there needs to be more freshness in there. Um, even though I know it's not trying to be a fresh and clean fragrance, it's supposed to be date night, sexy, romantic, comforting, warm, and it does all of that great. So I'm putting that above Ultra Male, but under one million. And this was also a new one that I got for Christmas was Blue Chanel ADT. And I know everyone loves the the ADP version, uh, the perfume. The Eau de Parfum. And this is the toilette. Say the toilette version. Um, and I I fell for the hype for this. Everyone's hyping up this to be the best fragrance. I bought it, smell it, and it just smells like normal soap or body wash or something, a cleaning product. So it's obviously citrusy, clean and fresh. If you like that, obviously it's good. It's not something you'd hate. I don't hate it, but it just smells like a fresh, clean product, like a cleaning product or something. Um, even though the citrus is very natural smelling, it's a very natural uh, citrus. And people say there's wood, but you only smell wood in the dry down. So once this dries down, you get more wood and then it becomes a lot better. But the projection of this, the longevity of this, terrible. Last three hours max on your clothes. But it is a nice fragrance. I mean, it's something you would like to smell on someone else. Way too overpriced. I would only give that an 8.5 out of 10 because I think it's not original. It doesn't smell unique. It smells like cleaning products. It smells like lemon. Every there's so many fragrances that smell like lemon and wood, and this is not better than the other ones. Everyone says it's better, and it's really not better. So where would I put this? I'm still kind of debating whether it's better than the Polo Sport Fresh or not. Because this is more fruity and this is more citrusy. Even though they're both fruits, this leans more sweet, this leans more fresh. So do you want more sweet or fresh? I think this is a little bit better performing. Um, I'm going to put it in front of Invictus, but I don't think it's better than Sport Fresh, honestly. I think this would be better if it was uh, a little bit stronger, a little bit more unique. I think this just is more um, appealing to me. But even though you might want to put this in front of that, I would understand that you would probably prefer fresh and clean over sweet, then you'd put that there. Um, but I'm going to have to say, just because this performs better, and I wear this more often. I'm going to put Sport Fresh in front of it. Plus, this is cheaper, more affordable. This is overpriced, extremely overpriced, actually. Um, and for the price value, it's not worth it. But it is nice. I mean, it'll get you tons of compliments. Girls love this. Girls also love that. Um, so that's the best on this side with Eros, the one, one million, pure excess night, ultra male, polo sport fresh, blue dust Chanel, the EDT version, Invictus, boss, bottled, Aqua Di Joe, Profondo, Beckham Signature, blue electric is still sad, still at the bottom, and it's not gonna change yet. But right here we have four little samples that I got, okay? So the first of the samples is Polo Red, which, ah, oh, Polo Red Intense. So the Intense version. I already know what the notes are because I already checked. Um, 
Oh yeah, so this, I didn't like this at first because I thought it was a little bit too sweet. Uh, I mean too synthetic actually, sorry, too synthetic and it gave me a headache. So polo, uh, polo red intense. But I've got to admit there's something in this that it gets better the more you smell it. And I think it's the cranberry note, okay? So this has cranberry in it, very fruity. But I don't smell any coffee in it. Sorry, um, everyone says it's got coffee. I don't smell coffee. But it smells clean, fresh, fruity. But synthetic. It will give you a headache. It actually gave me a headache when I first sprayed it. I just kept smelling it. Kept going back to smell it. And then I'm like, yeah, I've got a massive headache. But maybe because I liked it. I like the cranberry note in it. I think it's really... Nice. Um, where would I put this? I would put it uh, maybe above Blue de Chanel. I think I would wear Polo Red more than Blue de Chanel. So, we'll just slip it in there um, like that. And yeah, that's just nice. Okay, so it take, it has to grow on you a little bit, something that grows on you, but I think it's more strong. It's a very it's gonna last a long time. I, I give this a good um longevity and projection rating. I'd say that lasts uh more like a long time, like maybe six hours on your clothes or eight hours even. But yeah, that's that's nice, it's sweet, clash, uh, clean, fresh. Fruity, so fruity, very fruity. Um, that's the main note of it is obviously fruity. But don't don't buy it expecting a nice coffee fragrance because you won't smell any coffee in it. But then you got this uh, Mansera Cedrat Boise. Uh, I think I pronounced that right. Cedrat or Cedra Boise. I'm not French. I can't pronounce that. I don't even know if it's a French perfume, but. Hey, I'm just here to rank them. And this is strange, okay? This threw me off guard when I smelt this. I was like, what is this smell? It's a very, um... Whew! This is strong, okay? This is very strong. It smells like lemon. Synthetic lemon, like candy. It's a fake lemon smell, but nothing wrong with that. I really like the lemon opening in this. But there's something that smells dirty in here. Like, when you're a kid, you go, you sneak outside, have a cigarette, you smoke, you don't want your parents to catch you, so you spray on like some perfume or something to cover it, and then you still smell like smoke mixed with... No, you smell like ashtray, like an ashtray or a cigarette mixed with perfume or something. That's what this smells like. It's like dirty ashtray with lemon. So, I don't know how they've done it, but you smell fresh and clean, but you smell dirty at the same time. So even if you don't smoke, people are going to think you're a smoker if you buy this and wear this. You'll smell like someone that smokes cigarettes. But it doesn't smell smoky, that's the thing. It smells dirty. If you ever smell an ashtray, an ashtray doesn't smell smoky, it smells dirty. It's got that in here. I don't know what it's from. I think it's from the leather or the wood. I know there's lemon and wood in here, and it definitely smells woody. Definitely smells citrusy and lemony. Synthetic. It might be the leather. You can smell leather or something that's making it smell dirty, but... Girls love this, you get tons of compliments wearing it, and it's an acquired taste. It will grow on you, the more you wear it, the more you will like it. It's so weird, it's like, it's likeable even though it's got that dirtiness to it. It's like, it's just so strong. This will last all day, it's beast mode, probably one of the best performing. So back again, um, this time my camera battery actually died, so 
We were talking about man Sarah Cedra Buzzi of Buizé. Buizé. Man Sarah Cedrat Buizé. Okay, I hope I pronounced that right, but yeah, we're saying it smells a little bit dirty like an ashtray. Very synthetic artificial lemon opening. But there is wood and leather in there. I think the wood and leather makes it very uh, dirty smelling. Um, not the best combination, but very good performing fragrance. Um, and I don't know what else <clears throat> to really say about this besides it will grow on you. You will like it the more you wear it. But because it does have something in there that's an acquired taste, you probably won't like it the first time you smell it. Uh, I don't like it more than uh, more than Aqua Di Joe. So I'll put it just in between Aqua Di Joe like this. Uh, in between, like third from the bottom. Because I don't think it is that great. But... I like it and I hate it. I love and hate it. It's kind of like like and dislike thing. And I don't want to smell like I smoke cigarettes. I used to smoke. I don't anymore. And I think, yeah, like you don't really want to smell like that. You want to smell more fresh and clean. Um, So the next I have is Diesel Only The Brave and this is like a clubbing, a typical clubbing scent. Young people would wear this, uh, but it is very masculine, okay? Um, let me just uh, put a bit on my skin. Woo! Yeah. I like the opening of this a lot, actually. The opening of Diesel, only the Brave, okay? Fresh, clean, woody. Yeah, there's quite a, a bit of wood in there, but... Something slightly floral about it. You can get a little bit of floralness. I think it might be the iris, or... I think there's iris in here or violet, or some type of flower in here that does make it a little bit nice, only just enough to balance out the masculine smell. So this smells very masculine. Um, that's the first thing you'll notice. Masculine, fresh, clean. I almost think it's underrated. Honestly, I know it's probably very popular, but I don't hear many fragrance people on YouTube talk about it. Um, and the score, on Frey Granica, the score isn't that high. It's kind of like underrated, actually. So, clubbing, young, fresh, the older people can wear it too. Um, 8.5 out of 10, really good, uh, versatile, daytime, hot weather fragrance. Wear it at the gym after the shower, if you're playing sport. Um, for men, mainly uh, 18 to 35 years old, good performing, it lasts a long time, maybe 6 to 8 hours, and you won't hate it, you won't hate it, but it's not the best, like, you might actually like Profumo even more, but I think, oh, I don't know if I like it more than Aquity Joe, but I, I like it more than Cedra Bozé. So I'll put it right in front of that, kind of down the bottom, just in front of it though, like that. But then Aqua Di Joe is in front still. And um, yeah, I think that's the best and worst. Best being Eros, the one, one million, pure excess night, ultra male, polo sport fresh, polo red intense. Chanel, uh, Blue de Chanel, EDT, Invictus, Boss Bottled, Aquity Joe, Profondo, so this is just the Profondo version, uh, Diesel Only, The Brave, Mancera, Lemon Mint, Beckham Signature, 
And then last is YSL Blue Electric. Yeah, that's right. Big surprise, it's the worst out of them all because it smells like baby powder and there's barely any redeeming qualities about it. Uh, except for the opening, which smells pretty nice on the opening like cardamom. Besides that, don't buy it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got and I'm going to order a lot more. I've got a bunch of more samples coming and I'll review the samples when I get them. So, uh, peace.